But today, I'm going to try a little microphone modification. I've redone how I've had this radio put in the Tahoe here. I'll show you how I've done it. Integrated my 3D printer and after multiple tries got it pretty good, but I'm not done yet. I'm probably going to change it over. I started not to even do this little project because I plan on replacing the radio completely uh, sometime this year, but until then I might as well do it because I've got the stuff. So um, show you what we got here. Got the microphone extension. This is just a RJ11 cable. And then I haven't decided yet or not, but then I have a flush mounted panel uh, plug for that. So uh, let's get in here and see what we're doing. All right, so what I'm trying to do is eliminate this mic cord hanging in front of the dash and just out and open from up here at the top where I mounted the radio. And we'll take a little closer look at that. But um, that's what I want to try to do is get this whole mic thing rerouted either this way or that way across the headboard and down the side of the post and to the center console here. First thing we need to do is unhook the mic cord, put it away. Ain't it nice how that old Yezu plastic does? I'm hoping when I do get the new radio that maybe that's a little better now. So now we want this extension. I have a 15 foot extension. Considering my control head cable is already ran this way. When I get, I plan on upgrading this to the FTM 500 so I can have APRS and dual VFO. Um, this is dual band, but it's only one VFO at a time. So the control head cable, I'm gonna have to replace anyway because I noticed on the 500, it is a like a Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable. It's, a, it's an RJ45 uh, connector. Uh, whereas the connector going to this is an RJ11 for both the microphone and the control head. If I run the microphone cable through here, when I go to replace that control head cable, I'm just that much more I have to pull out. Uh, so maybe I can go this way. I mean, that's the side the mic's on anyway, right? So. All right, so this is the plan. This will go into the microphone plug up here, however it is. I can't see it, there we go. So that goes in that, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna run it this way, maybe 15 feet's long enough, but uh, let's speed this up for you. Here's the microphone. We do have it plugged into the radio. So first we can try the lamp button and see if the lights come on. Uh-oh. Huh? Well, I just did a really uncool bro move. I failed to thoroughly research this project. So uh, nothing's happening back there. So I just want to give this disclaimer in the video that everything you hear me reference to as RJ11 it is in fact not RJ11 that Yezu uses in their separation cables. It is a uh, RJ12. So I found out the hard way the difference in RJ11 and RJ12. Four wires in 11, six wires in 12. Oh well, we get to redo all that again. Part of the project. All right, well, I had to wait on the mailman, but we got our new cable that has six wires in it, RJ12. And we got the correct coupler that also has six contacts for RJ12. We're gonna pull the old out and put the new in and see if that works this time. We got our cable ran and now we'll use our appropriate coupler. Now, I originally was going to put a panel mount in the place of a 12 volt accessory plug or commonly known in the south as a cigarette lighter plug. 
Um, but then I noticed these couplers is about the right size to just snugly fit in between this console and the dash and hold their position quite well. So we'll plug cable into one end. Got our mic cord on the other. Let's see if it does. All right, here we are with the remote head, and you know what? This 3D printed part, I printed out a PLA, and it was actually supposed to be sitting up like that. Um, the heat has already, and it's not even gotten hot in Mississippi yet. We're just now getting into like the 60s during the day, uh, close to 70. But anyway. Uh, PLA is not for inside the vehicle. Turn it on. And here we've got the microphone. Let's see if the lamp works this time. <laughs> All right. Lamp works. K5YVY. And we're transmitting. So we have relocated this microphone from hanging from the control head down here under the dash that works out pretty good let me give you a closer look runs down the pillar behind the dash up to the console. A 3D printed microphone holder that just squeezes in between the trim. And let's see if we can get the repeater. K5YVY. Works pretty good. Now I'm happy because I don't have this mic wire just hanging down here. And now I'll go and clean that up, hide that a little bit more. All right, well, that's it for relocating the microphone on a Yezu FT7800. Now, the radio that I plan to replace this with um, sometime this year, when I find a good sale for it, kind of hoping maybe during Dayton, like the FT5 uh, went on a great sale, I've kind of got my fingers crossed that the 500 will go on sale. So when I'm out the 500, I'm going to actually have uh, not a 3D printed part. I bought a window mount that is uh, got the 3M adhesive on it. Hopefully that'll hold up pretty well. If not, we'll come up with something else or 3D print another mount for it. But this uh, control head for the 7800 also uses a RJ12 uh, type cable. So the FT500 is going to use actually a ethernet cable. So I will have to pull that old one out and run a new cable for that. But not a big deal. It doesn't take a lot of time, not a lot of effort. So I'm not worried much about that. All right, well, there's how easy it was for me to relocate my microphone. Hardest part was having to reorder the right products. So remember, for the FT7800 and several other Yezu radios, if you think it's RJ11, it's probably RJ12. Count the wires in it. RJ11 is four wires. RJ12 is six. So uh, anyway, just uh, do a little more research than I did to begin with for a smooth process and enjoy your relocated microphone. Thanks for watching 73 and there's another video. Check it out. See ya.